Hello guys, today we're going to be making a hilly terrain and then I'm going to make a road go over the hills, basically following the curvature of the hills. We're going to do this all with the knife tool. So basically we're just going to create a terrain, we're creating a plane right now. Let's go into edit mode and scale that by 10, let me focus in on this, and basically just subdivide it so that we have a nice grid that we can use to create our hill you can create your hill any way you want. I just wanted to have something ready for this video. So we're going to go into subdivide. That's control E and then choose subdivide from the list. Let's open up this worksheet. I'm going to change the number of cuts to 100, giving us plenty of workspace here. Now this is a pretty high resolution uh, graphic. So what we're going to do is change that later on using the decimate tool. Here I'm just choosing the select lasso tool and then I'm choosing an area where I want my hill to go. Notice that there's a good margin around that where I can leave a flat level land. Now I'm just grabbing it and changing that circle of influence with the mouse. By the way, I have my proportional editing turned on. And then I'm going to use control minus sign a bunch of times. Looks like I hit it about 10 times here. And then doing the same thing, grab, move it along the Z axis, move that circle of influence with your middle mouse wheel button. And then once you have a nice hill, we're going to go ahead and decimate this. So over here, we're just choosing the decimate modifier. And then in order to see some of the results of this, let's turn the statistics on. And you can see that there's 20,000 triangles. And then when I move this ratio from right to left, that number of try count goes down dramatically. So it's basically a multiplier. If I put this on 0.1, it's going to make 2,000 triangles instead of 20,000, which is fantastic. That's what we want. So this is now a low poly hill. Let's go ahead and apply that modifier. So now when we go into edit mode, we're actually editing the mesh, not the modifier. So right now I'm adding a new material. I went to the materials tab. I'm just naming it color atlas. And then over here next to base color, we're going to choose image texture. And over here, there's an open button. That's where you go and you open up your ping file or whatever kind of file you're going to use. This is the file I'm using. You can use whatever you like, but basically it's just a bunch of swatches that I can choose color patterns or whatever. It's not really any textures, just flat color. So in both of these panels, this is in the UV editing uh, workspace, by the way, let's go ahead and select both of those and then scale the one on the left down to zero and move that dot or that UV information into the grass swatch. And now we have a nice colored terrain that we can work with. In edit mode, you can see that we don't really have a clear path for our road. And what I need to do is I need to move some of these vertices out of the way. Basically just kind of like plow. I'm going to turn my proportional editing off. If you think of it, it's kind of like bulldozing or plowing a nice path where we can set our road down. And I kind of went about this in an awkward way. And I'm just kind of experimenting and moving things around here. I'm just kind of going back and forth here until I work out a nice path. I want to have a good margin space on either side of the road so I don't actually overwrite or basically pass over any of these vertices. Okay, we have a nice clean path now and we can easily cut through that. So speaking of cutting, we're going to be using the knife tool. So K for knife and then connect your knife on one edge and then create a path right down the middle of that space that we've cleared out. Just make sure that you click on the edges and not on the spaces in between. It's going to be more efficient. And then basically just, well, make a nice path from one side of the screen to the next. Again, using these edges as little opportunities to connect that knife. And then when you get through, hit enter. Now we have this path. I'm just moving a few vertices around to make this path a little bit smoother. And you can see me just kind of grabbing vertices here and there and just moving them around. Now that we've got that, we'll put this on edge selection and alt left click. And what I want to do is control B to bevel. Using the bevel, we're splitting that line into two equally on both sides. Don't go over the uh, margin space that we've created. And then go ahead and select both of those one at a time. So alt click and then alt shift click on the other one and then bevel again. Now we have two edges parallel on either side of our road. Use face selection and then alt left click on an edge between two faces. That way you can do a face loop selection. G for grab and then Z to move along the Z axis and just shift it down a little bit down into the terrain. We're going to want to color this different than grass. So we're going to go over to our UV editing workspace. So I guess before we do that, I decided that I'm going to bevel this one more time just to make it a little bit softer edge. So 
You don't have to do this. It's going to add more geometry. But if you want to have those soft uh, road banks, and that's how you would go about doing that. Now you'll notice that I'm using control plus sign, which is select more. And I've selected the middle group and then use control plus to select the rest. Here I've just changed the color by moving the UV information from the grass to the dirt. And then using control minus sign a couple of times to select less. And then just choosing a different shade of dirt for the bottom. I could use tar or anything that I want. It's all just color. It's just information. So now over here in layout. We basically have our road. The only thing I'm going to do now is use proportional editing to sort of make these roads look a little bit more organic. I'm just shifting some of the land mass around and making this a little bit less perfect. That's all. A little bit wider here, a little bit narrower there, that kind of thing. And there we go. There's our road going over a hilly terrain. And you can do this quite easily. Now, this is just one of maybe 100 different ways that you could go about doing this. If you guys like this video and you want to see more stuff like this, don't forget to leave comments. If you have questions, that's what the comments are there for too. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and push that bell notification. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.